was not a pitching rich affair. It was a one-two pitch. Swung on a little tapper in front of the plate, rolling up the first baseline. Sandersis fields, throws the the throw hits the runner, and the run comes home to score, and that'll be a base hit. Sandersis, boy, that was a little trickler up the first baseline. Gabe picked it up. His throw to first hit Hughes in the back. Hughes gets himself a single and an RBI. Coming home to score is Layton. That is the softest run you will ever see. Two and one from Sandersis to Layton. There's a swing and a line drive right field. Bossel moving over towards the line. He makes the catch as he slid. And that is a nice running catch in right field by Cedric Bossel as he was fighting the sun to get over and cut that ball off before it landed and went to the corner for extra bases. Layton flies out to right. That's a 1-2-3 inning for Sandersius. The runner, Auernheimer, on second base. There's one out. Here's the pitch. There's a little flare to left center field. Goetz running over towards left center field. That ball drops for a hit. Seedler had to hold up to make sure it would fall in. Auernheimer, now the throw goes to nobody. And coming home is Auernheimer. He will score. The game is tied. That'll be a throwing error on the center fielder, Florian Goetz. He threw that ball to nobody in particular. Julian Steinberg had to scramble just to go get it over near the Alligators' dugout. Siegler ends up at second base. The game is tied at one. That'll be a single for Siegler. No RBI on the play. Auernheimer scored on the throw, eight to two. There's the 0-1. Runner goes, pitches a strike. Selsmeyer's throw is a good one, and see you later at second base as Wayne O is caught stealing. And there are two down and nobody on, and two strikes the count on Dustin Hughes. This ball hit in the air to left field, going back Steffens. That ball is way back, and Steffens cannot make the catch. The ball lands for a hit. Siegler is rounding second base. Is he in for third? Throw comes in to Sanchez, and that is a triple for Chris Siegler. Sasha Steffens was caught off guard. Did not think that Siegler was going to have the power to hit the ball that far to left field, but Siegler hit it over his head, and he's at third with a triple, and here's Joey Dyke. There's a line drive, base hit left field. Joe Dyke does it again as Siegler comes home to score, and the Disciples lead 3-1. 2-2. There's a ground ball up the middle into center field, a base hit for Nicolici. The ball bounces high into the air, and that will allow the run to come home and score. RBI single for Klaus Nicolici. As Cedric Bossel came around to score, and it is four to one. Checks the runner, starts the windup, here's the pitch. Swing and a tapper to left side, Siegler, and it goes past him into left field. Coming home to score is one run, and here comes the second run. So the score is four to three. We'll see if that scored an error or a hit. It was a ground ball. Siegler charged and the ball took a bounce and went past him into left field and the score is four three. Three and one, the pitch from Metzger. There's a fly ball, high left field. Stefan going back, way back in front of the wall. And it is off the wall, in play. Dyke is rounding first, heading for second base and he'll be in there with a double. Just missed hitting that ball out of the ballpark. I don't think he hit it very well. It looked sounded like he hit it off the end of the bat. It was a towering high fly ball. Steffens was nowhere near it. The ball was about three meters to his right and hit off the fence. He had gotten turned around looking up into the sun. Anyway, it's a double for Joey Dyke. Sandersius comes set late in the tying run off second base with a short lead, the pitch. Swung on, line drive, caught by Mitch Stefan. He reached up and caught that line drive, and that preserved what could be a base hit to tie the game. Wayne O lines out to Mitch Stefan for the third out of the inning, and the Alligators don't score. No Still in there for the Solingen Alligators. Here's the wine and the pitch. This one is on the outside corner for strike three. Dropped momentarily by Steinberg, but he picks it up and throws to first. Wild, and Selsemeyer is safe. Selsemeyer alertly running after the called strikeout, but he reaches first base. First and second. There's the one, two. There's a line drive. That's a base hit to right field. Selsemeyer being waved around. Here's the throw to the plate by Stritzek. It's coming through. Selsemeyer scores. And it's an RBI single for Bruno Auernhammer, and the Disciples lead 5-3. Two outs in the eighth inning. 5-3, the Disciples lead. Schultz at third. There's a swing line, drive, right field, base hit. Schultz is going to score. 
coming right behind him to score. The second run is Bruno Auerhammer. It's a two-run single for Christoph Tiegler. And the Disciples lead seven to three. There's the wind, the one-two pitch outside, just barely two and two. Crowd wanted that one, but that was well off the plate. Two balls and two strikes. Base is loaded, nowhere to put Steinberg. There's the wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss, he struck him out, two down. And that is a season high for Gabe Sandersius with his 13th strikeout of the ball game as he got Steinberg chasing a high fastball. That one was out of the strike zone. And now with two outs in the ninth inning, how, more fit, how much more fitting could it be for the Alligators? It'll be their veteran longtime player, the national team player for the first time this year. 30-year-old Moritz Butkerite entered the game in the eighth inning, pinch hitting for Sasha Steffens. And here he is, he's the tying run with the bases loaded in the ninth inning and two outs. Here's the wine and the pitch. Strike one is called on the outside corner. Butkerite saw one pitch in his previous at bat and he hit it hard, but it was a long fly ball to Steinlein in left field. 0-1-1, Sandersius winds. 0-2, fastball gets the outside corner and Gabe is one strike away from evening this series and putting on a heck of a show. 7-3, here's the 0-2 pitch. Fouled away as Butkerite just got a piece. Pitch out of the strike zone. And the count is still 0-2. No balls, two strikes to Moritz Butkerite. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. The game is over. Gabe Sandersis escapes the jam in the ninth inning with his 14th strikeout. A complete game, masterful performance for the left-hander, and that is the pitching performance of the year for him this year by the Heart Disciples. They have evened this series by winning game two, seven to three. Gabe Sandersis with 14 strikeouts against the Solingen Alligators.